How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family. That title is true and correct. Now, my royal family, this is a first on the true royal family. And my backup channel is true royal. Double juicy? Ooh, juicy, juicy, juicy. Oh, so juicy. So anybody that's new to the true royal family and true royal, at the end of the title, when you see juicy, there's some instructions. Go get your shit. <laughs> Whatever your thing is, your weed, your wine, maybe your juice, because I'm into my juice, grape juice, plenty lemon, and plenty ice. And on top of that, I got me some barbecue chicken fresh off the grill that Miss Sa Mr. Santana just cooked. I like it with the dry rub. You know, he did, you know, he got some barbecue sauce on some of them. But I said, baby, let me have that one with that dry rub. So I'm going to be having, I got my shit all on deck. I got my chicken. I'll try my best not to smack into the mic. But uh, wait a minute. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm drinking um, out of a measuring cup. I don't know what it is. Um, it could be a jar, um, one of those mason jars, mayonnaise jars, or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm stalling my royal family because you know what time it is. Wait a minute. Oh, juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Let me taste this chicken. Let me not snap. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is that kind of this. The dizzle. Such a sweet husband. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. All right. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put a little pepper in it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Give me. Well, my royal family, I have broken a record over here. Day three, Herschel Walker? Really? What's going on with you, Herschel Walker? Why are you looking like something is bothering you? See, I had said, Herschel Walker, when you throw your hat in the arena, they gonna check you from the rooter to the tutor. There is going to be people that you have encountered in your lifetime that know about your dusty, greasy, grimy shit. Ain't karma a bitch, my royal family? Ain't it juicy, my royal family? Hold up. And I'm not going to get to the point. I'm dragging it for the ones that come over here dictating on my channel. Put up your own damn channel. I do what the hell I want to do over here, and I'm going to make it real juicy. This video going to be long because I'm getting ready to mop his country ass up. Throwing insult after insult after insult and just lying all damn day. Insulting everybody's intelligence. They gonna go do they fact finding. Trust and believe they gonna go do that. Now you 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 got four children? Are you sure? Are you really sure? So my royal family, I have a video, a short video to get you laid out. Then I have an audio where we're gonna get into the juicy details as the plot thickens. <laughs> I can't help myself. Oh my goodness. Uh, Georgia Senate hopeful Hosha Walker acknowledged he has four children and says he wasn't hiding them. Shit, you was hiding them. When you look on the Wikipedia, you, it don't even talk about no more uh, uh, um, some other children. 
So you think you're going to lie your way out of this? And all you've been doing is disrespecting the royal family. But see, we in a different space and time, Herschel Walker. We're in the age of exposure. See, my royal family, I had said long ago that um, the enemy supporters is going to get that raft to ten foe. And you notice that Yahweh is being more swift and more deliberate. It's like, whoa. And he sit up here with a straight face talking about his Christian values, sitting up here talking about he only has sex with a few women. Nah, you want them to all start coming forth? I know you're forking over some coins. I can't help my, my, my royal family. I know I'm supposed to play this video. Just bear with me. Anyway, I'll get back to your country ass in just a bit. Georgia Herschel Walker, a vocal critic of absentee fathers, tonight now acknowledging he has a 10-year-old he did not raise. Steve Osinsami from Georgia. Let me hear Herschel Walker! For years, he has repeatedly criticized black men who leave their children. But tonight, Georgia's Republican nominee for U.S. Senate, Herschel Walker, is admitting that he has a 10-year-old son who he didn't raise. Court documents show that the boy's mother had to sue him for paternity and child support in 2013. Even if you have to leave that woman, you don't leave your child. So Herschel, please say a few words. Walker, who is running with the strong support of former President Donald Trump, regularly complains about absent black fathers. The problem we have is we're going back to the mentality that the father leaves in the black family. He leaves and leaves the boys alone so they'll be raised by the mom in a statement tonight walker's campaign says he had a child years ago when he wasn't married and that he supported the child and continues to do so the heisman trophy winner won the hearts of georgians during his college football days he won the republican primary last month with nearly 70 percent of the vote despite allegations over past domestic violence and his struggle with multiple personalities he was recently caught lying about graduating from college and working in law enforcement in November, he faces the sitting senator, Democrat Raphael Warnock. Walker's campaign points out that his opponent, the sitting senator, is currently in a bitter fight with his ex-wife over their child custody arrangement. But Senator Warnock's people today say what's different in his case is that he's always been a devoted father. David? Steve, thank you. Well, that's the Public end of that, my royal family. That is the end of that. Now, as we go on this journey... Um, cause we're going to get into, um, this article from daily beast. It says 12 minutes, but when I clicked it on and listened to it, it was technically nine. And we will hear that they are going to try to drag his running mate. That ain't working at all whatsoever. You're deflecting. It's a bad look. And um, I'm going to reveal a bonus um, photo of my royal family because um, Herschel Walker has to address his daddy. And we'll get all into that, my royal family. All right, let's roll with it. Herschel Walker, critic of absentee dads, has yet another secret son and a daughter. By Roger Sollenberger. A day after the Daily Beast broke the news that Herschel Walker had a secret 10-year-old son he fathered out of wedlock, the football star turned politician confirmed late Wednesday night that he has yet another son with a different woman that the public doesn't know about, as well as a daughter that he had in college. The revelations come in the middle of Walker's competitive race to unseat Senator Raphael Warnock, D. Gaw, and after many public comments Walker has made about absent fathers in the black community. I want to apologize to the African-American community, because the fatherless home is a major, major problem, Walker said in a September 2020 interview, adding in a December 2019 interview with Diamond and Silk that men need to go into neighborhoods and become fathers of those fatherless children. The second of Walker's previously undisclosed sons was born to a woman living in Texas and is now 13 years old. Walker's other son is 10, and Christian Walker, who has played a major role in Herschel's political efforts and public persona, is 22. 
In Christian's case, Walker has played an extremely active role in his life. In the case of Walker's 10-year-old, the football star seems to have played very little role. In this latest case with his 13-year-old son, Walker seems to have been present on at least two occasions, according to social media photos. But it's unclear how active he's been beyond that. The Daily Beast is withholding the name of both younger sons and their mothers out of privacy concerns. In a statement issued to the Daily Beast, Walker confirmed that the 13-year-old son is his child. The campaign also supplied a form that Walker filled out in 2018 in order to be appointed to President Donald Trump's Council on Sports, Fitness and Nutrition. Walker listed the child's name and age, as well as the names and ages for Christian, the 10-year-old son, and an adult daughter whom Walker fathered when he was around 20 years old. I have four children, three sons and a daughter. They're not undisclosed, they're my kids, Walker said in his statement. I support them all and love them all. I've never denied my children, I confirmed this when I was appointed to the President's Council on Sports, Fitness and Nutrition, I just chose not to use them as props to win a political campaign. What parent would want their child involved in garbage, gutter politics like this? Walker said any suggestion that he was hiding his children was outrageous. I can take the heat, that's politics, Walker said, but leave my kids alone. While Walker hasn't openly discussed his 13-year-old son, there were a few public-facing traces of their relationship. A photo series posted to the mother's public Facebook page shows the two, Herschel Walker and his son, playing video games on a sofa. The series was posted in 2018, and includes a picture of a table ticket from a popular restaurant in the mother's current city. Another photo on the mother's Facebook, this one from 2016, depicts Walker and the son on laptop computers at a living room table. Comments on the picture appear to reference Walker as the father. Like father like son, one person wrote in a comment, which the mother, liked. Comments on an earlier picture of the boy with a football also appear to reference Walker as the father. A post from this year identifies the child as bearing Walker's last name. And a few years ago, the mother shared photos from a trip to the Dallas Cowboys Hall of Fame, including a 1986 team photo with Walker in it, and a display about his famous trade to the Minnesota Vikings. The mother has not tagged Walker in any of her pictures, however, nor mentioned him by name in her many dozens of public posts, a timeline which begins with posts about the final days of her pregnancy. Despite Walker's personal presence in the 13-year-old's life, the campaign's statement on Tuesday in regards to the 10-year-old referred multiple times to the candidate having just one child out of wedlock. Herschel had a child years ago when he wasn't married, the statement said. He supported the child and continues to do so. He's proud of his children. To suggest that Herschel is hiding the child because he hasn't used him in his political campaign is offensive and absurd. The 10-year-old's mother went to court for a paternity declaration and child support. A document posted online by the law firm that represented her in that 2013 case said she and Walker began a relationship on November 1, 2008. That was only three months before the birth of the son who is now 13. Walker was also reportedly involved with two other women around the same time, Julie Blanchard, the woman who would later become his second wife, and Mika Dean, who alleged a 20-year on-and-off affair, which ended in 2012 when Walker allegedly told her he would blow your head off in a dispute, according to previous reporting from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Dean filed that report in Irving, Texas, near Dallas, where Blanchard also resided. The Dallas area was also home to the mother of the 13-year-old. She kept an address in a condo building also tied to Walker, according to public records, though they don't appear to have shared the same apartment. The former Olympic bobsledder claimed in a 2010 interview with satellite radio host Howard Stern to have only slept with two women, his first wife and a current unnamed girlfriend, who, he pointed out, had a job. Blanchard is identified as his girlfriend in a photo that same year. Walker's opponent, Warnock, is currently wrapped up in a custody dispute of his own. His ex-wife is seeking changes to their child custody arrangement, and has asked a family court in Georgia to adjust Warnick's child support payments in light of the income bump he received upon his election to the Senate last year. The Republican National Committee has used the suit to attack Warnock, though a campaign spokesperson told the Daily Beast that Warnock plays an active role as a devoted father. By contrast, Walker does not see his 10-year-old son, according to a person close to the boy's family. About a year after he was born, the boy's mother sued Walker for a paternity declaration and child support. Walker admitted to being the boy's father in court, and pays child support and sends birthday and Christmas presents, the person close to the boy's family told the Daily Beast.
Walker also appears to send presents to the 13-year-old son. In a Facebook post from December 2021, the son's mother shared a note Walker sent along with Christmas presents. The note, addressed to Tiny One from Big One, tells the boy how happy Walker was to have received a virtual reality set the prior year, and promises a present that will hopefully live up to that gift. Except, it will be over the years that have already happened, Walker's note says. Also, all of these are paintings. As for Christian Walker, born to the former pro bowler and his first wife, Cindy Grossman, Herschel has co-parented him with Grossman and his current wife, Julie Blanchard. As an adult, Christian has cultivated a large social media following, and currently hawks a range of products promoting his father's Senate bid. It's unclear why Walker has such starkly different relationships with the mothers and his children, all of whom bear his last name. The pattern belies a deep hypocrisy. As the Daily Beast reported, Walker has made a point over the years to criticize absentee fathers, beseeching parents in multiple addresses to hug your child. He specifically singles out the black community. As recently as 2020, he said, you can leave the wife, but don't leave your child, a sentiment he had previously shared in a separate interview. Walker has also called on the black community to prioritize the burden over other social causes, such as Black Lives Matter. In early August 2020, amid nationwide upheaval against police brutality, Walker chided professional athletes for giving money to the cause, saying, let's not do that, but let's become fathers of those fatherless child, sick. Walker also has a history of violence against women, according to numerous reports. Grossman has accused Walker of being physically abusive, claiming Walker once threatened he would blow my brains out. In 2005, a judge granted her a protective order against Walker pursuant to alleged threats and temporarily revoked Walker's right to carry a firearm, the Associated Press reported. In his 2008 autobiography, Breaking Free, Walker revealed an ongoing battle with mental health and the toll it took on his personal relationships. He said he had been diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder and had multiple alter personalities. The therapist who diagnosed Walker, Dr. Jerry Mungadze, claims that dissociative identity disorder is the product of satanic demons. He does not have a medical degree, but he does have a PhD in educational counseling with a minor in psychology, as revealed in a 2018 Channel 4 documentary that critiqued Mungadze among a number of practitioners of so-called gay conversion therapy. Mungadze claims to have diagnosed several patients with DID, a rare health condition that affects between 0.01 and 1% of the population, according to the Cleveland Clinic. The disorder is often misdiagnosed and often requires multiple assessments for accuracy, according to a New York University Medical School psychiatrist's paper posted by the National Institutes for Health. But Mungage's diagnostic approach includes bizarre, unsubstantiated tests, such as assigning patients to color in a line drawing of a brain with crayons of their choice, the documentary showed. The drawings, he says, can reveal whether the patient is demonized, a theory he immortalized in an article titled, Is it Dissociation or Demonization?, which appeared in a 2000 edition of Journal of Psychology and Christianity, the Associated Press reported. Among God. That's the end of that, my royal family. What the hell does mental health have to do with, what do I call him, a chronic liar. See, that's why you looking all funny, Herschel. You know, again, you're insulting your damn self. And then they come up with this cockamamie crap about, well, they want to involve the children in, 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 um, in his campaign. We just finding out about your damn children. You hit them very well. I know you was forking over those coins, but somebody is singing like a canary. See, Herschel, there is a cost, I've been saying on this channel, messing with royalty. See, he not of us. He's not royalty because he continues to display his true nature. See, somebody like him that's a big hypocrite and um, he's very unforgiving about how he insult the royal family, let alone my kings, 
That's why I'm dragging this out. Because I'm insulting you. Now, I make light of some things, Herschel, but I am dead ass serious. And with all of this, my royal family, all of this, there is an extreme possibility that this coon, this lion MF, will be elected. But he has to answer to his daddy. So, let's get all up into this, my royal family. See, your daddy told you some wrong things. That you could get out there and say anything and you will not be touched. But see, this world in America, or you might have said globally, they look at you as a nigga. They don't care about the money that you have or anything else like that. And then there's a contradiction that's going on. And you're saying what you're saying to appease the enemy. You answering to your zaddy at the end of the day. You will basically put your balls, Herschel Walker, on a chopping block and you chop them off your damn self. You're disgraceful. And then the son that we do see, you co-parent that, and that's what you produce, a obnoxious, disrespectful human being. You got folks over there on Twitter dragging his ass. And these folks, some of them folks is gay because he say whatever. See, the Republican Party and the Democratic Party, they, 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 they all full of crap. None of them, you know, and there's other different parties, the liberals and all that kind of stuff. They all went in the same. But the Republican Party emphasized family values. You know, they're Christians, and you're supposed to conduct and carry yourself in a proper fashion. But see, where you lost sight at, Herschel, where are you at? You don't play with Yahweh. You don't mock or disrespect our father. And what we are seeing, my royal family, is he had to submit to it. Or he don't feel good at all. This ain't fun no more. You know? And they're going to keep throwing it up in his face. And what else is going to come out because they slinging mud. Oh, it's about to get extra double greasy. Hold up. Mm. Oh, my goodness, my royal family. When I seen that, you know, I was just looking just to see if he might say something, and it's hard to shock me. That knocked me down. I said, whoa, he got four children? And I was thinking, or did I make a statement, or did somebody say it, that maybe it's a possibility there's more children out there. I know somebody on the channel said that they know one of his relatives, and they shame. Yeah, I wouldn't claim that. He's a dunce. You know? So them other children, they don't need to be raised by you because what you produce or put it this way, what, yeah, what you have produced and what you have molded is a very disrespectful, obnoxious, snot-nosed ass half-breed that think that he cannot be touched. He gonna get out of line and no money gonna save his fruity ass, making a mockery. This thing you can say whatever and do whatever and there is not no consequences. You do not mess with our father. 
Did I make it juicy, my royal family? Do you want me to drag it on? Did I get to the point? Was I thorough enough? The fools that came over here and listen. You put up a little funky comment, I'll take you down, or somebody else in the royal family will take you down. Because we don't need your energy. I don't care what you say, but I don't like that negative energy around me. I always invite um, folks to um, do their own thinking and have their own opinion. But when you are in a leadership position, or you're rending in your voice, you must show the utmost respect who is backing you and supporting you. I'm not playing with this, my royal family. Remember that you are sacred. You are highly favored. And don't be doing this type of crap and think that ain't gonna be no consequences. Oh yeah, it is all gonna be revealed. We're not exempt either. So you're on the world stage, Herschel. So what you gonna do now? You gonna try to deflect and talk about somebody else? Your shit don't smell right. Oh, something more bigger is gonna come out. We got a few more days, two more days, my royal family, um, before retrograde end, it has been quite intense and enlightening because things is not what it seems during the retrograde phase and things can come forth from your past and expose your dusty ass. So my royal family, what you need to do is render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe.